Hi everyone, I'm Andrea from the training department and I get to share with you some tips and tricks on how to complete the Color Me Happy project kit. Here is the kit. The Color Me Happy project kit makes 12 cards. You get four each of four different designs and you color in the images on these cards using Stampin' Blends. Stampin' Blends are an alcohol-based marker and they come in two different shades, which makes it easy to get really dynamic images like this. As you color your kit, you're going to have a lot of fun customizing these images and make them your own. To learn more about how to use Stampin' Blends, be sure to check out our Features and Benefits and Basics videos on our YouTube channel. Before you start making your kit, I do recommend stamping a couple of images on a scrap piece of paper and practicing with the Stampin' Blends to perfect your technique. Here's what comes in the kit, and as you can see, you get all of the paper and accessories you need to complete the projects. I love the gold foil on these envelopes and on the elements here. You also get this really fun gold tape, and the printed inside of the envelopes is just really cute. You will need just a couple of extra products in order to complete the kit. You'll need Night of Navy, Pumpkin Pie, Pink Pirouette, and Soft Sky stamp and blend markers. You'll also need a Memento ink pad. We recommend Memento ink because our blends are alcohol-based markers, and the Memento ink is water-based. So when you're coloring with the markers, it won't pick up the ink from the Memento ink pad, and that will maintain the integrity of your image. So make sure you have the Memento ink pad. You'll also need fine tip glue, snail adhesive, Stampin' Dimensionals, and paper snips. And the Color Me Happy stamp set. And this comes in wood mount or clear mount based on your preference. These stamps are so fun. I love the collection of images and this really big thank you. This is such an adorable stamp set. There's one more product that I recommend having to help you assemble your kit. Now this is not a required product, but it will make assembly, it'll make stamping a lot easier. This is a stamp placement tool. This is the Stampamajig. And we do have a how-to video on our YouTube channel. If you've never used this product before, it's really a nice product to have and make stamping a cinch. Let's start with the So Happy For You card and just a couple of tips. The first step is to stamp your flowers and then you'll color them using the pink pirouette markers. Now, when you go to stamp your flowers, you wanna make sure that you're lining up your cardstock the exact right way. So what you're going to do is look for this blunt edge here. So the cardstock has a sharp edge and a blunt edge and you want the blunt edge at the top and then your flowers will be stamped the right direction. So after you've done all of your stamping and your coloring, you're going to place your gold tape using this as a guide. So to do that, take your card base and we're gonna put just a little bit of adhesive in this corner to hold our cardstock in place. Then we'll trim the length of gold tape that we need. The gold tape has a backing on it, so that makes it nice because you, you can play around with it and when you're ready to stick it down, just remove the backing and the tape isn't sticking to anything. Okay. Then with your cardstock in place, you can move the gold tape underneath and get it exactly where you'd like it. Once it's in place, just use your finger to smooth it down. And then trim up the ends. If you end up with a little wrinkle, just smooth it out until it flattens. And it will look like that. Then you can just bring your adhesive in and finish adhering your cardstock to place it down. The next thing you're going to do is stamp your greetings. And my tip on this one is to just make sure that your banner ends are facing the right direction before you stamp so that you get it in the exact right place. Once you've stamped your banners, adhere them to the card using Stampin' Dimensionals. And the final touch is to glue on some sequins using the fine tip glue. Here's the finished card. 
for reference. The next card is this lantern card, and you'll start by stamping your images. The kit comes with two sizes of white cardstock, so for this project, make sure you're using the larger of the two pieces of white cardstock. I recommend starting stamping your top string and top lanterns first, and then working your way down, and you will overlap the strings a little bit. This is a card I definitely recommend using the Stampamajig to get perfect placement. The lanterns and the strings can be just a little tricky to get exactly in place. And I recommend stamping your lanterns and strings higher to leave room for your greeting here at the bottom. Here's what your stamped piece will look like. And then you'll color in all of your lanterns. And you'll also color in these pre-printed lanterns that come in the kit. Just a quick tip here, you don't need to color this lantern. We stamped it so that we can have the strings here and here. But since you'll be putting this pre-printed lantern over the top of it with a Stampin' Dimensional, you don't need to color it there. And you'll color the lanterns in Pumpkin Pie and Soft Sky. Once you finish coloring, you're going to wrap a little bit of Baker's Twine around the top. And I have a little tip for that, so put your Baker's Twine around. And then you'll use a Stampin' Dimensional to hold your string in place and make sure you've put your tassel on before you adhere down the other side. Then you can put two more dimensionals here at the bottom and you can stick it on your card front like that. You'll put down some more gold tape, you'll adhere your Celebrate Greeting on with snail adhesive, and the final step is to adhere some star sequins onto your project using fine tip glue. Our next card features these sweet little birds. Start by stamping your birds on the smaller piece of white cardstock, and you'll color the birds in pink pirouette, soft sky, and pumpkin pie. A little tip when you're stamping your greeting, you'll stamp the oh hello using memento ink, but this is another time that having the stamp a majig will be handy, and I recommend leaving, this is a pre-perforated kind of piece, leaving all of these in this and then stamping and then punching them out when you're done. It makes lining it up much, much simpler. Once you've finished stamping and coloring your birds, you'll tie on a little bit of Baker's Twine. You'll adhere your gold foil burst and your oh hello greeting using snail and then dimensional your element to the card base and then adhere your sequins on using fine tip glue. The last card is this thank you card and it's actually really easy and straightforward. You'll do your stamping and then your coloring. You're gonna use Soft Sky, Night of Navy, and Pumpkin Pie. When you go to color your greeting, you can decide if you wanna do it all in the lighter colors or in the darker colors. And I've got two examples here. This one was all light and this one is all dark so you can see the difference. It really doesn't matter. It's based on your preference, but maybe you can do half one, half the other. It's just a lot of fun to color. Once you finish coloring, you're going to snail your banner to your card base, and then you'll stamp in dimensionals to adhere your greeting to your card. And you'll have a cute card finished like this. Here are all the cards one last time for reference. This kit is available for only a limited time. Don't miss out. Contact your local demonstrator or visit our website to order any of the products I've shown you today. Happy stamping and happy blending.